Hello, this is Doug the Two Minute Traveler. We are here in Italy. I'm with my wife. We're checking out all the amazing sites from Venice in the north to Pompeii in the south with stops at Capri and Rome and Tuscany. Today we are going to Florence, which is in the heart of Tuscany, and we are going to stop by at one of the most famous buildings in all of Tuscany, of course, the Pitti Palace of Florence. Now, the story behind this amazing building, it's basically just right across the Ponte Vecchio across the Arno River to the foot of Boboli Hill and this amazing building was actually started in the 1400s it was not finished until a hundred years later when the Medici family purchased it to make it their private home for their extraordinary family the Medici's as you probably know a famous family that ruled that part of Italy for 200 years this was their personal palace for those 200 years so they expanded it they finished it off and started filling it with amazing artwork after the Medici's fall in the late um, 1700s they, it was owned by a series of other palatial type families and so it was expanded more and more and it's filled with such amazing artwork so I'm gonna stop talking and let you just absorb all this incredible art <laughs> Notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci se tua tu gino d'amor. Delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci se tua tu gino d'amor. Non più vrai questi bei panachini, Quel cappello leggero galante, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante, quel vermiglio donesco color, quel vermiglio donesco color. Non più vrai, quei panachini, quel cappello, quella chioma, quell'orio brillante. Non ti drai far felonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno gerato, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci se tua tu gino d'amor, delle belle turbando al riposo, ma ci se... Well, there you have it. Some amazing artwork, both fashion artwork, uh, furnishings, and of course, regular artwork that you can find at the Pitti Palace. Tickets are available. There's a link on the video description on how to buy tickets for it. Also, make sure to allow a lot of time for the Boboli Gardens. The gardens behind the palace are truly spectacular, and you want a couple of hours for that. So it's definitely something that's going to take up about four or five hours of your time to really get a chance to look at all the museums. So that's all the time we have for today. Next on Adventures in Italy, we are going to head over to the town that is frozen in time, Pompeii, of course, at the foot of Mount Vesuvius, that amazing town that was buried in an eruption and never uncovered for a millennium. So that's next on Adventures in Italy. In the meantime, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get more of my videos on both Italy and, of course, the garden videos as well. This is Doug, the two-minute gardener, saying thanks so much for watching.